In this question, we're asked to solve the same question in two different methods. And really, the whole point of this question is to get you to appreciate just how simple it is to use the CM frame to solve the same problem. So let's just try to solve part A first. So the situation is we have a mass of 2m that's moving at a speed v. And then we have another mass of mass m that's moving in the opposite direction. And then they're going to collide uh, elastically. So we want to find the vinyl velocities when they bounce off each other. So first of all, let's set up the equation for uh, energy. So since the collision is elastic, we know that energy is conserved. And so in this question, we have two unknowns. So first is the final velocity of this mass. I'll call that V1. And then the final velocity of this second mass, V2. So we can do a bit of simplification. So obviously the m's, they cancel out. So we have v1 squared plus 1 half v2 squared. And here we have 3 over 2 v squared. So this is one equation. So the second equation is obviously going to be momentum. So I'm going to take right as positive. So we're, we can imagine having an axis. So uh, on this axis, uh, this has a momentum of 2 mv, and this has a momentum of negative mv. And then that's going to equal to 2 mv1 plus mv2. So v1 or v2 might be negative, and if it's negative, that means it's going to eventually move in the left direction. So simplifying this, actually, I can get rid of the m as well. We get 2 v1 plus v2. So now we have two equations and two unknowns. So now we can solve for v1 and v2. So I'm going to substitute v2 equals to v minus 2v1 into this equation. So let us do just that. So eventually we're going to get a quadratic equation. So v2 is equal to v minus 2v1 squared. And then at this point, it's really just uh, mathematics and simplification. So the v1 squares, we have three of these, so don't forget the one half here. We have three v1s, and then minus two v1 v, and then we have a plus one half v square, and then minus the three over two v square, we get minus v square equal to zero. Now we can factorize this, so if you're familiar with this, you can use the cross method, otherwise you can use your calculator to deduce what it is. but you can factorize this as 3v1 plus v multiplied by v1 minus v. So you see we have two solutions. v1 can be equal to v. This is the trivial solution. So this is the case before the collision. So we're not interested in that. And the other case is when v1 is equal to negative v over 3. So this is the answer. Well, part of the answer. So the, uh, after the collision, this mass, the heavier one, is going to kind of uh, recede backwards at uh, this speed. And for the other particle, the speed is given by this expression. So minus 2 times v1. So that means it's plus 2 over 3. So plus another v, we get 5 over 3v. So this is the other velocity. So after the two masses collide, this is going to bounce rightwards even faster. This is going to bounce back leftwards at a slower speed. So this is how you solve it using the lab frame.